Looking for a Google Analytics 4 Beginner's Guide and want to know how GA4 works? GA4 can provide you with some powerful insights about your website's visitors. But understanding how to use it? Well, that can be a real challenge. So in this Beginner's Guide, I'm going to break down some of the basics about GA4. I'll show you how to navigate the different reports, and I'll explain what each of those means. By the time we're done, hopefully, Google Analytics 4 won't seem to be such a big mystery. If you're a WordPress user, stick around to the end, and I'm going to show you a much easier way to use Google Analytics for your site. In simple words, Google Analytics is a free tracking tool by Google showing you how visitors are using your website. So, for instance, let's say you're the owner of an e-commerce store, and you can use Google Analytics to see how many people visit your store, where they're coming from, the kind of device they're using, and a whole lot more. You can use GA4 to do things like measure your site's performance, keep a check on your marketing efforts, figure out the type of content that you need to create or the kind of products that you need to have on your site, and you can see demographic information about your visitors. Plus, it can help you to optimize your website's pages to boost your conversions. All this making sense? All right, let's dive into the tutorial. To get started with Google Analytics, the first thing you'll need to do is create a Google Analytics account and add a tracking code to your website. Find links to our easy-to-follow guides on setting up a Google Analytics account and placing that tracking code on WordPress in the description. So in order for Google Analytics to work and start tracking data about your visitors, you'll need to place a snippet of code on your site. Don't worry, you don't need to write any code, but here's how it all works. When a visitor comes to your site, Google Analytics will drop a cookie on the visitor's browser. These cookies are used to see how the visitor is interacting with your site. It then collects that information and it displays it in different reports. See how that works? If you want Google Analytics to tell you how many of your visitors completed a conversion, like signing up for a newsletter, filling out a form, watching one of your videos, viewing a certain page on your site, or buying a product, well, then you'll have to set up conversions. GA4 can automatically track some events on its own, like file downloads, video views, form submissions, and a few more. So to make sure that you have tracking set up, you'll need to head to your Google Analytics account. Then in the lower left of the screen, you'll want to click on the Admin cog. Then go to Data Streams and click into the data stream for your site. Now you'll see an Enhanced Measurement section. If you want Google Analytics to track events on its own, then you'll want to make sure that this is flipped on. Now, as a quick aside, if you're a WordPress user, there's a better way to track events and conversions in GA4, and that's by using the Monster Insights plugin. And if you are using Monster Insights, then you'll want to make sure that the enhanced measurement is turned off in this section. Otherwise, you can select the events that you want to track as conversions. That way, when someone completes an event, it'll count as a conversion in GA4. So to do that, head over to the Admin cog, then to Conversions. Now you can click the switch to mark an event as a conversion. Now, if you're wanting to set up e-commerce tracking, well, that's a little more complicated unless you're a WordPress user who has Monster Insights installed. If you are, then just check out this article on setting up Google Analytics e-commerce tracking on WordPress. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, once you've created an account and added the tracking code, it's time to see what you can do with Google Analytics. On the home page, you'll see a quick overview of how your site's performing. So, for instance, under Users, you can see how many visitors came to your site. Next, you'll see New Users. That's the users who visited your site and how many of those had never visited your site before. Next to that, there's the average engagement time. This is the average amount of time visitors spend on your site. Then there's the event count. This is how many events, like clicks, form submissions, and other events were completed on your site. Now, on the left side panel, you're going to see a sidebar that expands when you mouse over it. This sidebar gives you quick access to your reports. So head to the Reports tab. Now you'll see even more reports. Okay, now let's take a look at each of these reports. We'll talk about what they track and how you can use them. The real-time report shows the number of users who are using your site right now. This is where you go to see real-time activity on your site. The card that overlays the world map shows you how many people have visited your site in the last 30 minutes and a breakdown of the type of device that they're using. If you scroll down the page, you'll see cards with lots of other real-time data. 
You can use this real-time report to measure the performance of recent campaigns like your sales campaigns, free giveaways, or promotions on your social media channels. Now let's look at the acquisition report. You can use this report to figure out where your traffic's coming from. At Monster Insights, we recommend starting with the traffic acquisition report to see the channels visitors are using to find your site. Google Analytics divides your web traffic into categories like organic search, that's the traffic that comes from search engines like Google or Bing. Direct is the traffic that comes to your site when someone types in your site's URL, opens your site through a bookmark, or if Google just can't recognize where the traffic is coming from. Referral is the traffic that comes from links that someone clicks from somewhere else on the web that lead to your site. Paid search is traffic that comes from clicks from ad traffic sources like Google Ads and organic social is from the non-advertising traffic from social media platforms like Facebook or Twitter. You can even dig a little deeper into the acquisition report to find the sources of your traffic. For instance, you can see the exact channels by clicking on the Session Default Channel Group drop-down. Then, from the drop-down, select Session Source Media. Then you'll see more details about the sources that are sending traffic to your site. You can use this information to know where to invest most of your time and money. So let's say you're not getting enough organic traffic. Well, that means that you'll want to focus more on search engine optimization. Now, when it comes to finding out what your visitors are doing while they're on your site, you'll want to look at the engagement report. This is where you can see the events your visitors trigger, conversions they've completed, and pages they visit. One of the most helpful reports for beginners is pages and screens. In this report, you'll see all the pages that were visited within the time period that you've selected right up here at the top. So for each page, you'll see the number of views, the number of users, the views per user, the average engagement time, the event count of each page, the number of conversions, and the total revenue that's been generated. You can use that data to see the pages that are getting the most views, how much time your visitors are spending on those pages, and whether conversions are occurring on those pages as well. The monetization report is a report for e-commerce websites selling physical or digital products. Now, keep in mind that if you're selling products, you'll have to set up e-commerce tracking to track the sales. If you have WordPress, Monster Insights makes it super easy. If you'd like to learn more, just be sure to check out the link in the description to setting up e-commerce tracking with Monster Insights. Now, if you're not using WordPress, then you'll want to look into setting up Google Tag Manager. I'll leave a link in the description to this article that I think you'll find helpful. Now, once you've got your e-commerce up and running, the monetization report will show you the e-commerce metrics for each of your products. You can use the demographics report to learn more about your audience, like where they're from, the gender, the age, the language, and a whole lot more. This can help you understand your audience better and begin tailoring your content specifically for them. All right, here we are at the tech report. This report tells you what type of technology your visitors are using to access your site. So you can see whether they're using a desktop computer or a mobile device, such as a smartphone or a tablet. Plus, you can get information about visitors' operating systems, the type of browsers they're using, and even the screen resolution that they're using to view your site. So how are we doing so far? Is all this making sense? The more time that you spend looking at these reports and playing around with them, the better you're going to get at finding useful ways to use the data. And once you've got the hang of all these basic reports, you can try creating custom Explorer reports, too. If you'd like to know how to do that, let's check out the link in the description to this article. Now, if you're using WordPress, let me show you a much easier way to use Google Analytics. With this method, you can easily use Google Analytics on your site without touching a line of code. Monster Insights is the number one Google Analytics plugin for WordPress, and it's both easy and powerful. To get started, all you have to do is head over to the Monster Insights pricing page and select from our Plus Pro or Agency plan, or you can just try Monster Insights for free by installing the plugin from the WordPress repository. Once you've selected the plan that best suits your needs, just install and activate the plugin and follow the setup wizard to connect your site to Google Analytics. Don't worry, it's super easy. Now, once that's done, go to your admin sidebar. Then hover your mouse over Insights, and then click on Reports. Now you'll see your site's overview report. This report gives you a graphical presentation of the sessions and page views of your site. Then just below that, you're going to see the total number of sessions, total page views, average duration per session, and the total users. Below that, you'll see metrics for your new versus returning users, a breakdown of the devices, the top 10 countries your visitors are from, 
the top 10 referral websites that are sending you traffic, and the top posts and pages. And you can click the big blue button at the bottom of any of the reports in Monster Insights, and you'll be taken straight to your Google Analytics account, where you can do a deep dive into even more data. Now go back to the top and click on the Publishers tab. Now you can see your top landing pages, top outbound links, your top affiliate links, top download links, demographics, the interest and scroll depth report, and more. All right, now let's head back to the top and click on the Search Console tab. You can use the Search Console report to view the top search queries that your users use in search engines to find your site. If you'd like to learn more about connecting Monster Insights to Google Search Console, then be sure to hit the link in the description to this article for more details. Now, the next tab is the e-commerce report. This report gives you a great overview of your online shop's performance. You can view your shop's conversion rate, the number of transactions, how much revenue you've generated, and your average order value. Then you can scroll down to see your top conversion sources along with the data about the total users, percentage of users, and revenue. And at the bottom of the page, you'll see percentages about the total add to cart, the total removed from cart, the percentage of new customers, and percentage of abandoned checkouts. Okay, let's go back to the top again, and now we'll look at the Custom Dimensions report. This is where you can set up and track data that Google Analytics doesn't track right out of the box. In this example, we've set it up to pull in the data about the most popular tags and most popular categories. But you can set it up for things like the popular authors on your site or which keywords that you've used that are bringing in the most traffic, get data about logged in users, and a whole lot more. If you'd like to learn more, then check out the Beginner's Guide to Google Analytics Custom Dimensions. And yes, I've left a link in the description. The next report in Monster Insights is the Forms report. It automatically tracks all the forms on your site. All you have to do is install the Monster Insights Forms add-on, and you'll see data on each of your forms, impressions, conversions, and conversion rate. Next is the Real-Time report. If you'd like to follow your traffic immediately after sending out an email or social media campaign, this is a great tool. Just open this report and you can see how many people are currently on your site, what pages they're on, and where they're from. Now back to the top and click on the site speed report. The speed of your website can impact many things, including how you rank in search and how much organic traffic you get. So you can access your up-to-the-minute site speed report inside Monster Insights anytime to see how changes to your site are affecting your site speed. And last, but certainly not least, is the media report. Do you have videos embedded on your site? Wouldn't it be great to see how many times they're getting watched? Well, this report allows you to see that data, and you don't even have to leave your WordPress site. And there you have it, your Google Analytics for Beginner's Guide. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.